Hello! Today we talk about traveling with your best friend, your instrument. Traveling with an instrument is quite a fatigue. It's getting warm here. Let's get inside. Hello, hello! Back again! Instruments sometimes are treated a little bit like dogs or other nice pets and they have to stay out. They are not supposed to get into the cabin at the aircraft and things like this and this is now the pain. And the same is when you park your car and you have a long trip, you won't leave the instrument in the car under the direct sun, just like your puppy, right? So we don't want to heat up your instrument under the direct sun like in the desert and on the other side we wanted to keep it always perfectly climate changes very soft as you like it now brought this very on the simple side the reality is a little bit more difficult so when you load your instrument into a car try to put at least carpet or blanket on top of it pull the closing on the back side in your car or in the bus make it in a way that the sun doesn't heat up the case especially all cases are black and usually black is a color which heats up even more Said that, this case made a lot of trips around the world, but actually it's not very well protected for what the instrument has to submit during a trip because it's hard. It can't be smashed like our shipping box, which I have thrown down the bridge of the Po, right? That was deformed and that's actually much better than if it is hard like this. So when I'm flying with a cello, I try to avoid this kind of cases. And I like these huge bulky but light cello cases, Chinese made, made to be thrown away actually. And I use them as uh, shipping boxes. And I would not recommend you to use them as a daily case. But if you travel with an aircraft, this is an idle case to put in your cello because it's already a little bit bigger and you can maybe carry it on to put it into an, a seat next to you. That would be the idle case. But let's say you travel with a cello and you don't want to pay a special seat which costs already good money. So in that case, call the airlines before that and try to figure out how much would be a box 140 to 55 to 35 centimeters that's more or less the box i would put in a cello case this is how big the box is if you open this box here like this they get already big like a fridge then you turn it around and a cello case fits inside something like this because i want that the cello case inside has at least some area around it soft area not hard so i always talk about chips chips are probably the best packaging material because they make a lot of volume keep the item you have to ship in its place and in case of a damage they have a little bit of area where you can squeeze it and then it comes back and so they look like this and they are super super great you could fall asleep with this one you know and this one i use for packing an instrument don't save too much with these ones just fill up the paper box where is in the middle is the case that's a safe way and then you go to the airport if you call the red airline you have an oversized package which is very light it's just very bulky but with that case it certainly will survive any flight and nothing will happen just put down a quarter of a turn of every pack before you go to the trip a little bit complicated and people are not so happy to do that is renting an instrument on the other side the ocean we come to violin and viola when the violin is carried over there are many many different cases this is just one kind of case you don't even have to say that you have a violin they say ah violin yeah i cannot take it on as soon as they see that you insist that the instrument needs to be with you they won't say a word when you come with a case like this they don't even ask if this is a viola you say violin even if you play the viola violin is the magic word they don't make troubles with it you just can carry it on it's a very little difference right they don't make fuss about one inch or a few centimeters more or less when i travel i have four violins one 
cello and sometimes even more but now we don't have to tell you everything so the case i'm using is actually a four violin case and they don't know that it's a four violin case in case let's say it even happened to me you know there was one very young dynamic light attendant who insisted that i cannot carry it on and then we had to board it underneath quick I was opening up, put it down all pegs a quarter turn and insisted that I keep it until I board. And then I give it to the captain who then stores it in a different place. And that's a big, huge difference because then they store it not in the area where your luggage is, but they put it in an area which is temperature of the cabin, but the storage of items like this. Last ingredient for flight is that you try to be at the gate. One of the first ones get into the plane. That allows you to get in you look already all the empty areas and everything and then you put it inside put your jacket on top of it in order that it is deep inside and you prevent that it will be taken out by the way flying for all the instrument is always been a great sound increasing step because this continuous vibrating of the aircraft increases the sound of your instrument. And once you made your flight, tell me if even your instrument sounds better after a flight. I hope this was a good ingredient for a perfect trip now in summer vacation or for a next concert somewhere. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now I have to go with my Vespa. I take my instrument here on vacation, you know. Let's go.